just stopped to fuel up, go to the restroom, went in the RV. We've had the microwave door come open before. Patty always packs away that glass tray, which she did this time. Except this time, apparently, it was so rough, the route we're on, the door came off its top hinge and was hanging. We're gonna need a new microwave in this RV. So, uh, Patty and I hitched up the late this afternoon. We are headed up to Wisconsin and we haven't done a, done a travel walk in a while. So At the next stop sign, we turn do. right. So stay with us. We got a little bit more driving to do tonight and then we'll do the rest tomorrow. Well, good morning, everyone. We uh, slept pretty good last night at the Cracker Barrel, had a really good dinner and uh, basically got around for bed, called it a night. That Chicago traffic was kind of crazy. This morning we stopped at the Loves. Uh, we're just north of Madison, Wisconsin. I'm fueling up and we have about two hours to go till we get to our destination. Now, they are calling for a chance of severe thunderstorms today. Uh, it looks like a big batch just moved through. So hopefully now we might have an opening for the next couple hours to get there. But um, stick with me because I'm pretty excited about this. And I know Patty is too. Just stay with us. What do you think of Wisconsin so far, Patty? It is really pretty. It's more hilly than I thought it was. I remember coming through here years and years, years ago, but I had forgotten. Too bad it wasn't sunny, but it's pretty here. Are you excited to be in Wisconsin? I am excited to be in Wisconsin. I'm really excited to be in Wisconsin. We are we are within about 80 miles of our, our destination, yeah. so we're getting closer. Yes, we are. We've arrived. We have. Finally. Finally. Not too bad of a drive this morning. No, not too bad. And um, there was supposed to be some stormy weather, but it kept going around us, so yep, we so. were lucky. So should we take everybody inside and I show them where we're at? Should we? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I think we've made people wait long enough. All right. So, Patty, are you excited? I think I, I asked you that already. I know. Now that people know. We're here. We're here. Fine. Now, if you're ready to run to the comment section and blast us for already trading, <laughs> be curious, not judgmental. Yep. Stay tuned. Monday, May 27th, you can check out our podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or you can watch it on our YouTube channel, Travels with Lillian Podcast. We're going to do a whole podcast episode where we talk about yeah. why we made this decision after one year. We're going to explain it. So be curious, not judgmental. Okay, Ted. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Acts like he knows exactly where he's going. Then you're uh -huh. There we go. Oh, this is good. So I was wondering what, oh, you can get the much with the slide outs in. No, no, But you can get to the bedroom and the bathroom. Look at this, Boba. That's exciting, huh? Nice, Bubby. That's gorgeous. Is this bigger, Bass? You like this? What do you think? This is exciting. Good. Yep. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> we are now in our brand new Alliance, which I will do a complete walkthrough of this RV in a separate video. You'll be able to check that out in a week or two. But what we're going to do right now is I want to introduce you to Corey up here at King's Campers in, is it Wausau? Am I pronouncing yeah, that right? Wausau. Wausau. And uh, so Corey is going to give us a little orientation. We don't need quite as much as most people because it's very similar. So what do we need to know on this RV, Corey? Anything particular? Um, compared to your last one, not much. The only thing you mentioned was a water heater with the instant water heater. Yeah. Uh, there's control panel in the bathroom. And if you want to head up there, we'll All right. show you that now. Yeah, so we've never had one of these in our 20 years of RVing. Um, this is going to be a new experience to have one of these. Right so. now, the power is on outside. These are super simple on the inside. Outside, turn the switch on. Okay. Inside, press the power button. Right now, it says the temperature is at 71 degrees of your water. You can turn it up to 122 is the max, and I believe it's like 95. Yeah, 95 is the lowest. Okay. Uh, if you are north or south of the border, you can change the Celsius just by pressing 
Celsius. Okay. Switch it back to Fahrenheit. And it's that simple. That's it. And about how long does it take with one of these to actually get hot water? Is it um, from depends like, on where how far your line is away from where the source is? Okay. The water here is literally right down here, so to get it up to here won't take long. Okay. Um, so it's yeah. not like our traditional that we're always used to, where you flip it on, you're gonna have to wait maybe thirty minutes to get the water Correct. actually heated up. That's Just make sure that's the advantage on. of this. Make sure your gas is on. Make sure the switch is on outside. Come inside here. Check where you want your temperature, and if you want. You can set this thing to exactly what temperature you want your showers to be at okay. and only run the hot water. Wow, nice. So if you like your showers at 105 degrees <laughs> for that 105, turn just the hot on, you won't even have to adjust it. I see they upgraded the uh, toilet seat from ours. It's also a porcelain one. Yep, so we have the porcelain, but I believe that's a, yep, soft I'm close. That out, so. <laughs> that's okay. Corey, thank you so much for giving this a complete walkthrough. We really appreciate it and uh, we're excited about the new RV, so. Well, that's what we planned on trying to get you to. Yeah, you guys do a great job here. I tell you, um, we are so impressed with the dealership, the way you have this uh, ready to go, um, pointing out things I need to know, because even when you've done this for 20 years, there's things you just don't know. Yep. And so I appreciate that. All right, we just signed our paperwork with uh, Brent. I gotta tell you, this dealership is special. I don't know how we got so lucky to find it, this is crazy. Like, Corey doing our walkthrough was amazing. And then Brent in finance, same way, straightforward, honest, answered all my questions, didn't push on anything. And um, this, this just could not get any better, to be quite honest. Oh, and before anybody says, well, it's only because you're a YouTuber and you're probably getting your RV for free. We are not getting our RV for free. We're not getting any special discount than anyone else. They, they didn't even know we were YouTubers until I mentioned it to Shelby last week on the phone. And I only did that so she could see what the RV was so they could give us a value on trade without doing it blindly. So trust me, um, they're not doing anything that they wouldn't do for anyone else in my opinion. So it is so nice to find a dealership like this that gave us an amazing trade-in value um, and a fair price on the new one. And had we not got the deal that I wanted, we would not be doing this. Patty, you want to introduce? This is Shelby. Hi. So Shelby, <laughs> uh, you went and sold us a new RV, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> so you want to tell everybody where we're at? We are at King's Campers in Wausau, Wisconsin. All right. And so the way we found you was I just was looking for the Alliance 29 RL, yep. I believe. And it came up that you guys sold it, you had it. I sent in the overnight form yep. and you called me the next morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it was awesome because I was expecting like a bad deal mm -hmm. and the deal was just, you were straightforward. Yes, yes. And one of the things I'm most impressed about here is normal, I shouldn't say normally, but it's not uncommon to get a price and then find out there's lots of additional oh, fees. That's not how you guys do that not here. Not at all, we're very straightforward and upfront about everything. You're not gonna be surprised when you sign paperwork. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Make it as easy as possible. So I was even, st even though you told me that on the phone, <laughs> I was still a little skeptical when I went into Brent's office yeah. and, and, and it was actually what you told me. It was like yeah. $499.50. Yeah. And I'm like, it, yeah. I'm like, but isn't there like another documentation? He's <laughs> like, no, that's no. it. Like that was it. That was so. It. Yeah. yeah, we're very upfront and very honest about everything that we do. And that's keep awesome. Us that way. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, what all lines do you sell here besides Alliance? Besides Alliance. So we're going to have your KZ products. We have Tiffin for your like motorhomes and things along those lines. And that's you're new like, to the RV yes. industry. Yeah, I've been here for two-ish months now. Okay. Yep. Not new to sales, but new to RV. No. Yeah. So yeah. you liking it so far? Love it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this place just feels different than any RV dealer we've Right. Uh, other than Princess Craft. Yeah. I, we always give a shout out to our friend PJ in down Texas, at Princess Craft. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, everything you guys have just been so straightforward on everything. And everybody here is so helpful mm -hmm. and um, going nice. above and beyond. Yeah. And yeah, mm -hmm. I felt bad for Corey because I think he really wanted to do a really long orientation. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he I know. Doing that. Yeah. And I know it's yeah, like, sorry, Corey, I already yeah. know that. Yeah. But so, well, yeah. we really appreciate yeah. you working That's with so us. Great. And um, if somebody wants to check it out, see what your inventory is how would they get a hold of you I got a card. all right let's just do that <laughs> let's see if we get the camera to focus right there so there you go just yeah. give shelby a call up yeah, here or you can fill out the online form like i did yeah. that would probably work yeah. i will tell you uh, this is one of the things i was really impressed with your website yeah you have a how much can i tow yeah isn't that nice 
where you put in your exact truck or vehicle. I shouldn't say truck because it yep. could be a vehicle. Yep. And, and then it pulls up your inventory yep. that would fit within those specifications. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, it's very nice to use too. So yeah. you got a lot of people who don't know what they can tell. And then they fall in love with something they can't have. Right, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. I don't I don't know that I I'm not saying there's not other dealerships that don't have it. I don't think I've ever seen that. So right. well thank you again. Yeah, we yeah. love it. We're so excited about the new R V yeah. and we just want everybody to know how great it is here. It is awesome. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations to you guys. Yeah, thank you. I have not been this excited about a dealership in the R V industry since Princess Craft, who you guys know we really like PJ and the whole crew down there at Princess Craft. And if they sold fifth wheels, we'd probably drive to Texas again. But this place, and we didn't know what we were getting into. We drove seven hours to get up here. I would do it over and over for this experience we've had today. And um, so anyway, believe me, don't believe me. I just wanted to share that. And very rarely do I share positive things about RV dealerships in general. They allowed us to keep our lithium batteries and Corey said he'd move them over. I figured he'd hook up one just to get us home, but no, he took out the old battery box, put in a metal plate, even reinforced down below for the weight, has them all nice and compact and perfect. They also allowed us to keep our mattress, which he also moved over so that Patty and I didn't have to do it. I cannot say enough good about the entire team at King's Campers. Thank you, Shelby, Corey, and Brent for making this the perfect RV buying experience.